Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn about how to add 3D models to our footprint. In our previous session, we had learned that how to create a schematic symbol and how to create any kind of footprint. You can click on the I button to learn about how to make a schematic symbol and the footprint. So, see here. Here in this particular PCB, I had added some of the 3D models to the footprint, but one 3D model is missing. So, in today's particular session, we will learn that uh, how to add 3D model to this footprint in the keycap. Okay. So first, let us find the part number of this particular footprint. So see this by just clicking on the footprint, either you have to press the right click and then press to the property. It will give the values. This is the model number of that particular. component okay or you can just click on this particular footprint and press e on the keyboard it will automatically open the same footprint property now we are copy this particular name and go to the google chrome or other browser that you are using and just paste here and type the 3d model there are many websites available which can give us a 3d model footprint and the symbols Okay, but here in this particular case, I am using this GrabCAD. It has a very good model, and exactly same that we want. So this is the website. In this particular website, you have to log in first, and then you can download the 3D model. Okay, this is the actual, and this is its 3D model. Okay, so see here. Here we have JPG step as well as the JPG. We need the step file. So I will just download the step file by just clicking on the step and. press here download file so it will download the step model i will move this step model to the desktop now let's go back to the keycap and click on the right click on the particular footprint and open properties or press e button and now go to the 3d model see this here we have a 3d representation of the same footprint and this is the a particular panel which will use to adjust the 3d model now just click on this folder button it will open one window and you have to go to the location where we had saved the our footprint now go our footprint is located at the desktop so go to the user our username then go to the desktop okay see this here we have desktop and here we have downloaded the step file just click on this step file it will visible here see this you can pan by using the left click and uh, you can zoom in and zoom out by using the scroll up and scroll down okay so just select this step file click okay see this our step file is inserted on this particular footprint but alignment of this particular footprint is not proper so we can either scale up or scale down i think the scale is perfect we just have to uh, change the orientation means we will have to use the rotation and the offset so first we have to rotate this footprint so that this particular angle will be aligned here okay so i will uh, see this here we have two pin and the many other pin and same here we have two pin and many other pin here we have gap means our ic should be rotated about 180 degree so you see this in in this way if you will rotate it will wrong we just have to uh, rotate by means of z axis okay z axis is a vertical axis now our alignment is perfect by means of a point pin see this two pin is here and two pin is here now just we have to give some offset to this footprint so you can give offset from here we will have a x y and z we don't want the z offset because it will move up and down so x and y will be enough so just click on the y offset it will align along with the y and this will be the our x offset okay now see this i will just align it properly and uh, i will give some x and y offset okay so this the alignment is little bit weird okay okay and now give some to four you just have to adjust by yourself so that uh, you will have a better idea 2 3 okay 
and uh, 3 5 perfect ok this will be this is aligned and uh, now let us align this particular axis now it will give more no no 3 5 ok not that much good uh, little bit more so we are going to adjust ok a little bit more ok perfect 7 5 see this our footprint is aligned properly here in this case but uh, if you will see this then uh, you will found that the, we should have to give some z offset so let us give z offset to this particular 3d model and uh, now it is perfect perfectly aligned from x y z axis and the angle will be is also perfect now press ok and our 3d model is added to this particular footprint now go to view and open 3d viewer here we have our 3d model added see this it is perfectly added to our footprint so this is how you can download all the 3d model which is used you can use a component search engine or the particular part manufacturer or you can go to the snap idea and the third one is a grab head it is a very good website to provide a 3d model okay so this is the end of our today's session we will meet soon in the next session